Welcome to the bonus round. Have taken to calling any time we get to fish after the epic with uh, reasonable weather as the bonus round. So this is the week after the epic in 2016. I have cousin Jeff on the left, Paul Amberg of Venture Custom Rods on the right. This is the first day we have uh, been out fishing for this trip. So we're just out cruising around looking for fish. We had caught one uh, smaller fish in the morning. Paul had landed that inevitably got around to talking about things and the curse of the banana happened to come up. So um, Jeff had an experience with banana when he was casting in my boat a few years back and lo and behold a, a little while later Jeff has been skunked completely and he pulls out some banana loaf. Hey Jeff how's that banana bread tasting? Good and bad at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> You're hanging over the side of the boat. He's going to give you an opportunity. <laughs> For proper perspective, we have to flash back to August 2013 when Jeff was just beginning his muskie hunting adventures and hoping today to get a figure eight strike. Well, little did he know he was about to get his wish, but he had packed a couple of bananas in his food pack. Oh, the fish, Jeff. No, set the hook backwards. You got it. Set the hook back into him. Keep your head down. Keep it, keep it down. 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 Ah. Oh. You totally blew that, you know. No, I did. <laughs> you totally blew it. What the hell? Your rod was up here. So Jeff got his wish. After twice pulling that bait out of the fish's mouth without ever setting the hook, we proceed, fish a few other spots and come to this point where I'm casting a crankbait and we'll have a big fish come up and eat at the side of the boat. Keep in mind, I do not know anything about the banana being in the boat yet. Jeff doesn't know about the banana curse yet, so this could have went very, very badly. Somehow we managed to salvage a little bit of luck. Earlier, Jeff had said how proud he was not to have packed any banana yogurt, any bananas, or anything else that caused any trouble that day. And later on, he pulls out this piece of loaf, and the look on his face when Paul asked him if he had any bananas in it was priceless. So about an hour after he forced that banana loaf down his throat as quick as he possibly could while hanging over the side of the boat because he couldn't bring himself to throw out his mom's homemade banana loaf, he's dragging around a headlock and hoping for the best on a reef. Up the front when you're comfortable, Jeff. Don't trip on anything. Don't risk dropping that fish. Now, I have caught pike out here, but we've caught musky too. Nice fish. T bone. Oh, baby! Nice fish. Cut, get, get, give me that cutter. Just hung up. Beautiful fish, Jeff. That is. Gotta get her down, guys. Ooh. 
good. He's down. That's a nice fish. Yeah, yes, that's a picture. <laughs> yeah, that's a picture. That's a picture. Banana boy, score! <laughs> Get rid of the banana! Catch this fish! You gave him enough shit about a banana. <laughs> Tomorrow they have the whole loaf and So after Jeff landed that 47 and a half, Paul picked up a 44 about a half hour later, and here at the end of the day, Jeff's rod goes off again. Yeah, give me some room, Jeff. Just be careful. Oh yeah. Not a big one, but it'll take her. Yeah. Better than it looked, it was just too busy dancing. Jeff is still experimenting with the banana loaf theory in his own boat on his own time, but I think we can both agree that the only way to be sure that you're not going to get totally beat by the curse of the banana is to have a couple of headlocks in the water at all times once you realize your mistake. Imagine what could have been if the banana loaf had been gone since breakfast. For more information on the headlock, matlock, and liplock, please like Supernatural Big Baits on Facebook or visit their web store at www.supernaturalbigbaits.com. J Man Trolls with Venture Custom Rods. For more information, visit www.venturecustomrods.com or follow Venture Custom Rods on Facebook and Instagram. Catch a nice one and let it go. Let them all go. Thank you, Jack.